What's up, nerd friends? We're going to talk about the HW Link V2 and doing updates. All right, welcome back to the Nerd Bench. Thanks for tuning in for another fresh episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday here on Hobby Wing Official's YouTube channel. Real quickly, we're going to get into doing app updates and speed control updates. When there is a firmware update, for whatever reason, the database for the app will get updated, but not always the app. We do them in different stages for various reasons. So if you have the app installed already and you want to check for updates, we're going to show you how to do that. So we're just going to jump into how to obviously install the app. You go to your favorite app store, you punch in HW Link V2. This is what it should look like. You hit the download thing, it downloads and installs all that for you we all know how that fun stuff works once that happens you open the app or you open it from wherever you have it and then it's going to ask you a few install things you have to say yes to these otherwise it's not going to work i'm going to use it with an ota so i'm going to do bluetooth bluetooth connection if you're going to use it with the old wi-fi express you obviously want to use wi-fi connection so i just downloaded this app you would assume that it's going to be fully updated but in the interim when there's different firmwares and stuff like that you'll get that sweet notification that says you have an update available you can do that right now when you open the app or I can show you how to do that manually as well Let's say you just hit update later or that app doesn't pop up and you know that there is an app of, or, uh, And you know that there's an update available You go to settings and then you click on about and then you can go to the database version It'll tell you there's a new one and you can update it there now, the main thing with this is you want to have good internet connection so it goes fast if you're using Wi-Fi and your internet's not solid or whatever the case may be. You kind of just want to make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi, use your phone's data, and usually that'll take care of it. And now it's updated, and when I click here, it says it's already the latest version. Same thing is true for the app. If I go into the app, it'll tell me that it's the latest version as well. So now we'll jump back to our, oops, we'll jump back to our main screen here. I'm trying to touch my, my buttons oh so carefully and uh, we'll fire up the speed control this is an xr10 uh, pro g2 it works the same for most of the xe run series you turn the device on with it plugged into the programming port of the speed control you tap the connection you pick your ota you punch in your password default password is triple eights or all eights rather sorry i want to remember that you hit confirm and then it connects now to do the firmware update on the speed control, you just click on the firmware screen. It'll check all of that. And then you'll go here to target and you'll be able to select from the latest versions. I want the latest one. I'm gonna update the firmware. It's gonna tell you a couple safeties here. And this is to warn you that if anything happens while it's doing the update, you're gonna break your speed control and nobody wants that. So you hit okay and it starts to do the update. 99, come on, and almost there and then it says firmware upgrade successful please connect and restart the device you say confirm and it brings you back to the main screen everything disconnects because it just got done doing a firmware update so you're gonna have to redo your settings you have to recalibrate it to the radio and all that fun stuff because with firmware it's kind of a clean wipe type of deal. so you can check your parameters with parameters you can check the app with settings the data log information is obviously there and to do firmware updates to the speed control it's right there so one more quick thing if you ever do want to check your firmware in your ota which is necessary if you have any goofy weird issues just double check that your ota itself is updated you go to settings um then you go to settings of the bluetooth module and you can go firmware update right there and it'll let you know what's the status it'll tell you the version of the actual device and the firmware inside since i'm already updated i don't have to do that so we're good to go but if your numbers don't match like if this one's higher than that one obviously you just click that it'll let you select which one you want and then you tap firmware update easy peasy just turn on the speaker control so we don't have to listen to that fan. But the latest update that got released is for sanctioned racing. Raw Racing changed some of the rules for uh, Blinky class. Blinky is the zero timing racing. And when I say zero timing, I mean no electronic timing from the speed control itself. And that, in turn, included softening. The powers that be decided that they no longer wanted to allow Blinky Racing to allow softening. So any of the Hobbywing speed controls that were previously approved for Blinky Racing that had softening have a new Blinky now, the light blinks in a different order, so that the guys who check the rules and tech can make sure that they're on the latest update and they're not using softening. So you have to have the softening set to zero. You have to have the timing 
uh, of the speed control, which is the boost and the turbo also set to zero, and then it'll do the blinky mode racing. Don't forget, we do have a podcast. It is called RC Stuff, powered by Hobbywing. You can find that on your favorite podcast service, where every single episode, we give away free RC stuff. Is so End of July, I will be at the Straight Line Showdown in Union Grove, Wisconsin for the Scotty Ernst Productions Hobby Wing Presents Straight Line Showdown, another super awesome drag race event that'll be happening. And I hope to see you guys all out there. But if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to shoot us an email, North America at hobbywing.com. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>